have the camera smoothly follow the ball yeah I think it's working it's working okay no when the ball hits the grass restart Ah. Mm. So we we the shadow disappears when it's on the second disc. I don't know what is happening. Those seem to disappear when the ball reaches the second disc. Hopefully that fixed it. Okay, it's fixed. Can we have all the disk higher? Yeah, because I don't want them to clip into the to the ground. Yeah. Oh. Oh man, oh man. I feel like I we're already having a game right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna submit this for the game jam. I mean, uh, you guys think that this is a little bit cheating, but frankly, the jam had uh, uh, one category that said, uh, yeah, try to uh, to vibe code your game. So that's what I'm doing, because I don't have time to do anything better than this. Um, add a third disk and a ring at the end if the ball hits the ring have a palette pop up say you won oh this is cool oh No. Way. Hey. Add all your suggestion, but also I don't see the victory or screen. Just make it appear if I collide with the ring. Hmm? That didn't the ball collides with the ring, but nothing happens. Yeah, really, the thing is, I ask the AI to create a game, and it's not even able to play it. It's writing code, so that's a little bit uh, hardcore. <laughs> if I, like, like, imagine a developer, you say like yeah you have to make a game but you're not allowed to test it uh, i will test it and i will keep giving you feedback i mean what kind of nightmare is this you know so i have to give kudos to the fact that the ai is able to create this entire thing even though it's not even but i don't know why what's this problem with uh, the fact that it's hitting the ring and nothing's happening body does, where does it check the collision? 
This turns to ring. That's how it checks for collision. The wrong check for victory. We should check for collision with ring body, not distance to ring. I guess this is kind of like a, I'm just code reviewing the work of a junior engineering who is blind uh, or maybe doesn't have hands. And uh, well, he has hands enough to write code, but yeah, so he's not able to test his code. And I'm just reviewing his code and then giving him suggestions. And yeah, that's pretty much what it is. It's colliding and it's nothing happening. The collision check between ball and ring is not happening. I mean, it just added some logs. Uh, I don't need logs. It's not. It's not working at all. Begin contact. Okay. Well, I guess I can check if this contact. Yeah, if Cursor had the ability to even at least check its own log, then it, sh it would do a much better job. The logs are not hit. Begin contact, he did same thing, begin contact, I don't know. I never see any logs. Are you sure contact works? This is strange, it was doing a pretty good job so far when it comes to something simple, like figuring out if there was a collision. doesn't even know that there's collision with the ring. Keep seeing these steps, but no luck. Though the ball collides with the ring and no story screen. I mean, I think the only thing uh, missing is the fact that Cursor should be able to test its own thing. No? Just open uh, its own browser and simply uh, act in it. And oh, why do I have to keep testing with playing the game itself? Ah. Oh. Okay. I think I'm not gonna do this very often because uh, I don't know for you guys, but I have a feeling this is very boring to watch. Since I'm not really reasoning anything, I'm simply like telling uh, Cursor what to do. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, like I don't feel like I've really learned anything. I learned that uh, Cursor is, uh, is okay, a little bit frustrating to work with, but, uh, but yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna leave as it is. Uh, I don't have much time to do a whole lot more. Although we do have a beginning of a game, but there's one thing I wanted to do. This, the victory screen works. Now, could you make the ring vertical and up in the air? Yeah, I want the ring to appear like this. That way it's a little bit clear what you need to do. <laughs> I mean, it's not clear at all, but rotate the ring to make it look vertical. I think he doesn't even know what is vertical and horizontal. Ah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Have a counter on the top left showing the number of attempts, and in the victory screen, mention how many attempts it took. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>
That's how you get it. <sighs> Something like looks like a game. Wait, where's my attempts? Uh, I don't see the attempts. Well, I guess I got it in one try, so maybe that's why. <laughs> okay, now I can see attempt zero. Yeah, I need to see. Okay. One attempt. Nice. Okay. Let's change this a bit. I want to have multiple levels. I don't know if it's smart enough to know that. Um, first level is as it is now. Second level, the disk will be um, mo moving left, right. Third level, it will be moving up and down. Does it know how to do this? I don't know, I'll be surprised. I need to check uh, my submission because, um, let's see. Game Dev GS. I think I will have less than an hour to finish this damn thing. 40 minutes. That's plenty of time. Oh, the level, okay. Show the level below the attempt. They overlap. Okay. Good. Now level one, this is simple. I should have made it easier, that way it's... Actually, it's kind of easy. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hard! Uh, I don't even know if it's possible. just work on this a little bit myself. Let's make this level 4 and if level is 2... This is level. If le Oh good, okay. So maybe this one I can change. Uh, 10 minus 10, 10. Oops. Ooh, yeah. So not so much. Yeah, this is good. It's a little bit harder, but it's not so, so bad. Yeah, sometimes it has to take over because frankly, cursor doesn't know exactly what I want. Or more accurately, I don't know how to explain cursor what I want.